Steel side bottom of the <laughs> Collingwood oh, Magpies no. in the oh. AFL. Uh, one of the most legendary names in the history of sport is currently being suspended for four games because he did not adhere to the COVID-19 rules that the AFL had put into place. And as somebody who has been in a pretty similar situation to old Steel Sidebottom, I would like to let him know that better days are ahead, but I think the AFL cracked down on our guy, Steel Sidebottom, a little bit too much. Now, Steel Sidebottom, name impeccable mm -hmm. all time he's the vice captain by the way which means the assistant he wears the a on the thing oh, so nice. this guy's been around he's a leader he's a good player after they lost last week i guess old steel side bottom said hey we need to knock the bottom out of a couple of these things and i'm gonna go after it so steel side bottom had about a beer 50 and then he had a <laughs> shot or 100 mm -hmm. and at one point witnesses say um that he was half naked and found on the streets of australia now, the original report was that he took an Uber, and that was the, um, the guideline that he broke. You can't be taking an Uber, you're in lockdown. Turns out, it wasn't just the Uber that he took, it was also the entire city that he was also drinking with, which, sure. by the way, Got to bring the team back. You know, after that yeah. devastating loss to the GWS goons, it, it, sometimes you need to build the morale. Still, Sidebottom was probably doing a lot of morale building for a lot of people that day, mm -hmm. not just himself. He uh, is obviously either found shirt. The half naked thing is crazy because if yeah. he's just shirtless, I mean, what is it, summer? That's half naked. Right. What do you want? It's half naked. Give him a break. Give the guy a break. Yeah. Still, Sidebottom. You, you see his body? I'd be shirtless Oof. as well. Yeah. He wasn't driving, okay? He wasn't driving. He was very drunk, though. Mm -hmm. Very. I don't know if he was six A's and wasted, like TMZ reported Ooh. I was, but I do believe from the re the story that I read about Old Steel Sidebottom is he, 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 he went ahead and got after it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's now suspended four games. We lose our vice captain after losing to a team we shouldn't have lost to, and everything seems to be spiraling out of control for the Collingwood Magpies, even though our guy, Cockzilla, came back in the fourth quarter. It feels like the Collingwood Magpies are potentially in trouble, especially because we got a partying problem in the, in the locker room. Well, I mean, when you, have, when you have a porn star name, you have to do porn star things. You have to live up to your name, and that's just, I mean, that's his parents' fault, if we're being honest. Steel side bottom is one of the greatest names I've yeah. ever heard and in my entire he, life. He might get sick. The high today in Collingwood is 51 degrees. Oh, uh, well, I'll tell you what. As somebody who's been shirtless <laughs> while intoxicated in 28 degree weather Ooh. Ooh. can't even feel it <laughs> can't even feel it feels pretty good feels pretty good i was just going out and having a couple pints after the game that's when i learned my immune system was a g though i, mean, <laughs> I, I learned my immune system after that was a g i'm like look at this guys because i assumed i'd be sick incredibly oh, yeah. sick the mm -hmm. next day maybe the next week not be able to because who knows if i did fall yeah, into yeah. the canal we don't know it's all a legend if i did fall into that and got it, who knows what's in there let alone walk around like 28 29 degree weather i mean it was just and then the next couple of days i was like we're gonna learn a lot about this old body and i was like to be honest better than i've ever been i mean it's, it's quite a sobering feeling when you wake up in jail so i didn't have a hangover i had more so like oh my god i'm gonna be cut from this team my life is over and once you get past that feeling it was like the body not too shabby i'm sure there's some positive steel side bottom will feel from this a little chilly there it feels good about the uh the um the body and the immune system but in four weeks when we get steel side bottom back look out it's a bad day to be a beer in australia <laughs> oh, yeah. when steel side bottom comes back it's a bad day to be a beer we talked about steel side bottom down the afl getting found shirtless drunk uh and being suspended four games by the afl i want to let you know no judgment from this chair no judgment mm -mm. hey they say those who live in glass houses shouldn't live in glass houses you know what they say? Yeah, yeah. they do yeah. say that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Like, don't even worry about throwing stones. No, no, Because no. I don't even talk about throwing no, no. stones. Leave them outside. Let's just get the hell out of the glass house, yeah. okay? Yeah. Because that, not a lot of security. No. no. Not a lot of safety. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it's a constant thing. Like, you know, whenever you use a magnifying glass with the sun yeah. mm -hmm. and it just cooks things? Uh, like, yeah. I think that's what your house is. So I think if you live in a glass house, we should talk about your decision making. Mm -hmm. And then you should also not throw stones. Never. So I, I think that's a couple of things. And I am in that particular glass house at this particular thing. And I'm going to put up some blinds. I'm just not going to say a single thing bad about steel side mm -hmm. bottom. All I'm going to say is we're going to miss him for the next four games. And we need our vice captain back as fast as possible. But can't blame him. 
for going out there and just getting absolutely demolished after losing to the GWS Giants, which nobody thought he was going to do, which I didn't think we were going to do, and I bet a hefty amount, and I almost, and I don't even drink anymore, I almost was found shirtless and drunk because of how much I bet on the Collingwood Magpies to beat the hell out of the Nick Moralda GWS Giants goon squad. I mean, the guy was quarantined for, what, four or five months? He's he's having a good start to the season on the restart, and he wants to go out and celebrate a little bit? They weren't having a good start, by the way. They lost to the goon squad. Yeah, but Mm -hmm. that's their... Yeah, they have won some other ones. Away, which, you know, I can understand. They won back game. They won back game. They're a good team. Yeah, They're a good, good team. Yeah. Good team. Steel's getting slammed. It's not their fault. A bunch of goons came in and took well, out. it is their team. fault. They didn't play well. Yeah, they but they step up. You know, and maybe He's we got don't, bullied all uh, over the Maybe, maybe uh, we don't understand Aussie Rules football enough. That's probably true. You know how. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> By the way, Australia today. I hope that show doesn't last. How you doing? Keep it moving. <laughs> How you doing? Keep it moving. How you doing? Keep it moving. No, they're probably good people, but the way they operate is just insufferable. But maybe, like, you know how in football, cliche coaches after a bad loss, they go and bury the ball? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like, after yeah. a bad loss, they go out. They're Tony like, hey, Sperano. boy, come on out here. <laughs> we're going to bury the ball, and we're never going to talk about this again. Mm-hmm. Maybe in the AFL, when you lose, you just go ahead and bury your memory of the night. Smart. You know, yeah. Does anybody talk about Steel Sidebottom just trying to move on and be a better vice captain for that Collingwood Magpies? Yeah, maybe he overdid it. Yeah, maybe he drank 50, 60 beers. Maybe, I don't know. But that is what he was trying to do to become a better AFLer. And I think the AFL suspending him for four games is a bunch of garbage to me. Yeah. It, it, did he? He was in an Uber. He wasn't driving. Smart. Did he hurt anybody other than his liver? We don't know. Actually, we don't know the full story. It might help the team, well, really. Probably shouldn't judge. Because everyone's going to say, look, guys, look what we're doing to Steel. We're, Steel, ca- we're, we're killing guys, this guy. We're killing Steel Sidebottom. We have to pick it up. Steel Sidebottom is potentially a dead man if we don't if we continue to lose. Yeah. Look what he did to himself after we lost at a GWS Giants. Do you think we lose again? Imagine if we lose to that stupid Gold Coast Suns team whenever we have oh, to play. The worst team in the league. Maybe, imagine Let's if we go, lose go, to go, the go. Fremantle Dockers. Oh, 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 do you know what man. Steel Sidebottom's going to do to himself? That's what they're saying. He's suspended for four weeks, so he's going to be fresh. You guys better yeah. look out. That's oh, yeah. good leadership. He'll be back when it matters. It is good Ralph leadership. <laughs> Boys, I will take all the alcohol in the town so you don't have to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Australia's going to run that clip. Right <laughs> <there>. <laughs> um,